So uh, if if Genji on aware, I, I'm kind of curious what the picks and bans were throughout. I'm curious what the bans were that allow this to potentially happen. Um, because as said, this is probably one of the insta takeaways. I would say if it's not a good map for you and it's an incredibly favorable map for the Sentinels. Um, however, let's have a little look here. As so far, it looked like a pretty pacey piece towards B. They do still have their Cypher pretty deep, but he's going to be watching the flank. Very classic approach. Effie's, though, ducked in towards the site, and it's a confidence-based play. Just instant pressure. Big moves coming in from the Sentinels. Swarming the site. Nicely handled, nicely controlled, and the spike should be planted pretty comfortably. All right, still three defenders up, but they're in a world of hurt right now. Two of them have been spotted down the defender spawn. A raise. That's GMD trying to make his way through the mid. So they're going for a pinch here, just waiting for everyone to get into position. Meanwhile, a flank is out right now. Keep your eyes on Dapper, that Cypher. Defenders easing in, but they're running out of time. They got to get into the action. They still haven't seen a body. Finally, Dapper is going to find player one, but Sick already dropped, and we are going to see everyone falling on the defensive side. And a very strong start here for the Sentinels. Love to see it. I think that and this you, is what we're going to see for the first three rounds. It's just full on pushes. I, I yeah, I, I kind of want to take back what I said. If I'm honest, I kind of forgot about Sinatra on this map. Oh, he's, he's, he's such an nice annoying one. player to play against. Very unorthodox. It's still and a it's sandwich just, bed, it, Pansy. You can't back you, out no, of it. No, I'll I'll pay up. I'll pay up. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I will ahead. definitely pay up. Um, but no, I'm I just I want to see if those fundamentals do transfer over from Genji, or if it was more map specific where they felt that comfortable. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have a little look. Of course, it's a somewhat of a clean eco here coming out from uh, Gen G. Classics, and that's about it. So if they get anything out of this, a gun would be great. You know, cost the opposition a little bit here and there. That'd do wonders, but it looks like Sinatra just feels like being aggressive and... Oh, I okay. don't think Overwatch League would allow that sort of thing. Uh, so... Actually, we, we, we encourage it. Uh, nice. At least I did when I was on the show. Yeah, I highly, highly suggest you tactical crouch just to show how strong your legs are after carrying the team with a 3K on the Spectre. Well done, Sinatra. Squats all day. 4-0 is getting close to that ultimate already, and he showed you on the last map. Love us to play for the early orbs, and the team definitely supports him in doing so. This is somewhat similar to the first piss around. This is Sinatra's set. Um, Dart here. So it's pretty good actually towards B. It's a very nice little piece and you can see it kind of being complemented well. Effie's going to be forced away from the angle. So a great deal of early utility from the Sentinels and I, I don't want to say blind. Somewhat blind. It's um, all set. It's very pacey piece into, into play. It's not going to be slow either, guys. Bear in mind because they're going soon because they have full stack towards a lovely counter utility from player one but instantly forced in towards the eyes of sick who's looking up and over. So there's so few He's lines of sight available for the defensive team on this site now. Wall is going to go down and Dapper is going to find Michael Peak and Sinatra on Effie's in the back means that the spike is going to go down any moment. Two defenders left as it's going to be Huynh working with GMD, the Jet and the Rays. And well, now it's all of a sudden just the Rays. GMD picks up one, but what can you do against the three defenders all protecting the spike on site? He's been spotted. Here they come hunting. And there is the ego peak from Sick. He's good for it. Everyone's going to survive. Keep the weapon. Sentinels are rolling. This is something we saw at Bind, though. So I'm not getting too excited yet. Takes G uh, Gen G a little bit of time to figure out how to ease into the map. But so far, very impressive start. Sinatra at 5-0. and 4-1 oh, and one from Dapper. Shazam at 3-1, and one, causing chaos with the Bulldog. Now upgrading to the Phantom. Yeah, this is, this is an incredibly... Um... Good start for the uh, Sentinels. What a, what a nice way to make a little bit of a statement right back at them. Instantly keep the economy low. Barely let anyone get off the starting blocks. Look at look at the economy. You've got four kills. That's it. They're, they're barely able to hold this pretty... I don't say rinse and repeat. It's not, but a very well-founded attack. But it's, it's somewhat similar attack. This is very different. I think they know they're up against a, a lesser buy. So, of course, they should be a little bit cautious. They should be a little bit careful. Um, but they're handling it just fine. I'm I'm really, really impressed with the Sentinels. Again, I think this is one of the maps where you start to get a little bit more idea of their potential on, and I kind of forgot it, if I'm honest, which is completely my bad, but it is also, you know, 12, 30 It, it was night, like so. uh, three tournaments ago. You're good. You even cast oh, a lot well, of you. I'll say that. But um, no, I, I think this is actually a very good um, map for the Sentinels to show off their potential. I'm 
I'm curious to see if any of the, the as I said, I said it before and I'll say it again. The fundamentals we saw from Genji, I want to see them translate here. I want to see good post post plant positioning and retakes. I want to see Huin kind of find a bit more form with that off. We didn't see enough of it in that previous map. And I'll, I'm just looking at the composition. I feel like this is a comp loss at the start here for Genji, just based on the defensive counter punch potential. Really, you just have Michael to slow it down and the Sage to stop anyone who is going to be surging forward. But Sentinels have shown that they can faint and then double back into his sight. And right now, you have no way to flash. You have no way to slow down a push that is being be led by Shazam on the breach. And of course, Sinatra, who is playing very aggressive from start to finish in this game. He's got his alt now, and actually, he's going to hand that one off. He's going to get it after this pick, though, if he's able to turn the corner on the race. Let's see for now. Let's see the approaches. Sinatra's really good at clearing out certain areas. Um, I love that, you know, the, the B play, they have that set play when he uses the shock dart to kind of clear out. Uh, I call it speedway. I don't know what you guys, or maybe catwalk. I hope you guys, you know what I mean. Ooh, I like speedway. Um, it's, it's, it's very nice, and that's a nice little double face from Shaw as well. So the defensive side not giving up areas for free, that's pretty good. That's going to eliminate the kind of late lurk and potential flank. They also get good information off the back of that that they could easily now stack out quite handedly towards A. And well, with the spike now planted, they got to get moving soon. They, they aren't going to be able to stop any part of that. But playing a retake on this is going to be tricky. Look at that Cypher playing late up catwalk there in middle. That could be a big downfall of this retake if it gets any success building soon. GMD trying to bait out for his sniper. That's Quinn up top. Spikes down, but still lots of time. Michael knows there's going to be a flank coming in. And Dapper is going to be easing his way onto the site after wrapping around Long A. They've got the defenders pinched, but here comes the defuse. Sinatra not able to use his ultimate. Sick, though, holding strong in the corner is going to survive, but not until the finish here. No time left. Nice job. Dapper's going to lock it in before he's going to fall to the bomb. Everyone dies, but it's a fifth round for the Sentinels, and Gen G just spent all of their money. Honestly, that, you know, Dapper's play was just great. You know, he was the safety net. He was the fallback plan. Um, he would just always get a play for the uh, spike at the very end there after I think he even got a pick earlier on, on uh, Catwalk too. So very well handled. I think this is the robust Sentinels that could definitely easily draw into map three. Now, at this point, the economy is just being perpetually broken because one, they're not getting kills. Two, they're not winning rounds. So obviously those two elements, even if you're losing rounds, you get a couple of kills, your money gets a little bit more buffered. This has been very one-sided. So it's quite hard for them to do much more than this for now. But let's see get what the attackers do. Way. They need to keep this round clean because they want to keep that economy very, very humble at this point. We're going to go ahead and invest his jet ultimate. Of course, it lasts the entire round as long as you're hitting shots. Teammates sitting on sheriffs. B-side is going to be locked down by the Cypher camera, and we are going to see a flank coming in. So potential opportunity coming in for Michael. He is pretty clean on the defense back on bind. Will he be able to get there in time? Smokes are out, and here comes the attackers pushing through into B. It's a little bit of a different hit here, but Sinatra is still going to prove so much value in these sort of approaches. A little bit of a swing around, and I don't know what the playback in is here. Quinn's trying to make it happen, and okay. that's incredible amount okay. of work coming in from Quinn. Three quick kills, and suddenly the game's not over just yet. We mentioned it was a comfort pick, and he has shown you why he is known on the jet. Ultimate is over, and it's all up to Zoms now. He was clutching a 1v2 back on bind. Will he be able to do it again? Spike not planted, 25 seconds. So the clock is against him. And of course, he's got to jump up. They will hear him if he makes his move up. There we go. Quiet as you can be. Already getting tagged up, spammed up, trying to get the spike and trying to get it planted. He's going to do the best he can. And well, it does actually equate to a plant. They've let that happen. Let's see if they can retake this cleanly here, Pocket. There's a, there's a bit of danger in this one. Pistols and an ultimate so far. That's all they had oh. to start the round. Now, the peak. Zom spots the first. Down goes GMD, but Michael is there on the trade. He was expecting a pinch, and when they doubled up, did not see that one coming. Michael is going to already have his ultimate, but the squad final, he gets their first round. 5-1. They stopped the bleeding. They've got cash, and you'll see another sniper rifle in the hands of Huynh, who had a huge round with the 3k. 
and this is a thing we we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be smart players we're gonna be we're gonna be clever right we're gonna use 10 head rather than two head the point is that that round i i, I think is a fair assumption to bank off the back of what Quinn was able to do with that i think like a 3k picked up there that was very impressive of course but can we expect that to be repeated every round i mean if you've got a tens laying around somewhere maybe if you've got a wardell <laughs> sure but Quinn has not been performing to that level that we know he can do so i'm a little worried that their one round one one so far came down to a very close scenario and it was off the back of a big ultimate so if they want to find more success we have to see it in these more traditional rounds but another ultimate being popped and maybe just looking for some early success sinatra is keeping them very aware of his presence over by a Quinn's averaging three kills per ultimate so far in the quarterfinals is jet He's only had one. We'll see what he can do moving forward. But most importantly, he's back on his sniper rifle. And this is where you have to respect the man. Smokes are coming off just like you saw when Wardell was playing that position. Often you'll see the Omen forcing him back. But the uh, attackers will take their time before they ease Come in. Dapper is going to have his camera blown up. And that's going to give him the info. He hears two footsteps retreating. I'm liking Gen G getting a little aggro here. At least keeping the Sentinels on their toes. Oh, Quinn, let's see if the timing's with him. Could be great. Is that Cypher's about to leave that B presence? No, you gotta hit those. No, 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 no. It's not good. It's very bad, actually. Oh, you know no. what? That's, that's, that's big the, bad. That, that's me and Diamond, Quinn. You'll clean it up later. I'm not worried. Player one is able to pick up two before falling in hell. And now we got the spike grabbed by Shazam. He's gonna be planning it near generators, I assume. You got your Omen Zombs up top. Was so clean on the brimstone. Phantom in hand once again. No paranoia, and he hears three footsteps. Got to get it done manually. There's the first. Can't get more. Exactly Michael is here. Is Shazam going to survive? The pinch from Dapper is coming, but he's got to hold on. Shazam's going to buy time. He's already gone down, but the flank, it looks like maybe they're considering it, but no, Dapper's going to be going around the other way, but it looks like they're holding this down. The door's shut. They've come off the, the fuse. Oh, that could oh, have been no. an error. Okay. GMD on the trade. Did they get it to halfway? Yes, they did. No harm, no foul, but a little close for my taste there. I want to give a shout out. We got Elevate in the chat showing love to the Fortniters. <laughs> What's up, Elevate? Oh, Man's no. on my friends list, always playing Valorant these days. Love to see it. Everyone getting involved in Valorant. So we take a look at the numbers. Dapper on a stinger sitting at eight and four. Shazam is going to be saving up for an operator potentially next round. But Zobs is, uh, he had an op. It's going to put it away. Looks like this is going to be a half buy for some and he will buy it for Shazam. Okay. I finally understand what's happening here, Hold and on. it's basically a fair fight. Can we show the site? Observers, if you don't mind, once this pick's happened, if it does, can we show the site once Sinatra starts using his utility? Because it could be really interesting if he does it. If not, no worries. But we saw this a good couple of times. I think we saw it in Europe as well with Mixwell, I think, being one to make a big highlight out of it, of course, because it's Mixwell, but um, certainly been utilized by now. I'm going to pop Shazam up. No one's really facing it this time. If you waited late enough, maybe you'd have, you know, the, the Sage or uh, Jet having a little walkabout. But for now, that's not the case. Playing deep on site is GMD. The Cypher is going to be playing the tight corner. So B is ready, but it looks like the Sentinels are going to try and ease their way through the middle instead. And that Jet went just waiting for a peek. The Sage there to bait. Cover going or wall up as soon as she hears and here we go it's this time a for an double stack the, this double stack here towards short is massive and i don't know if how if is there a way around it no they, they're gonna have to break sick no no i don't know if they heard that or they just i think they're super paranoid about mid look at this rotation from sage and jet as a pack they're both looking at middle now and they've left left a pretty wide open it looks like sage is coming back around but they were really drawn away from like a couple of smokes here and there nice utility use from the attacking oh, side to kind of cause a bit of a fake piece but they haven't removed the player on the site quinn's now there but quinn's fallen and this should be a spike con but the spikes left at the back by a main so some time for these rotations yeah, it's going to be a four make it five versus two though so this is going to be really tough for GMD and crew to break back in. The nade is going to do some heavy damage to Sinatra. Out comes the Owl Drone, and this could be a save opportunity. I think they wanted to get to that Operator, and that is not going to be the case. Dapper on the hunt, looking to chase down GMD. Strong take from the Sentinels. 
Able to break in. I thought player one was going to do some damage after landing his paranoia, but Sinatra charges right through. Trades out that kill to get an instant resurrect. Full numbers, full weaponry. And looking at their opponents, they had to do some math to get the proper weapons. Oh, that's 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 a really unfortunate round in my mind. I would have loved that double stack on short to stay committed to it. They fell hook and line, hook line and sinker for those smokes in middle. They rotated away from it. Oh, that would have been so sick if they were there. But yeah, a nice miss, miss kind of like misdirection from the Sentinels, I guess you could call it. That was quite nice. And uh, just a couple of exit kills here and there. But, um, you can set chat on fire by talking about Fortnite. I hope you're happy with yourself. You're welcome, chat. Fortnite's better than Counter-Strike. Suck it, nerds! Just kidding. <laughs> Says the Halo caster. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't you start. Don't, don't, don't start. You're oh. going to turn all of Europe against me. No Swede will ever let me in their house. All right, let's go. At the start, GMD with the Marshal. What can he do? 1,100 credits, and he's already stunned up. Disadvantage for the early peak, but Sinatra didn't see it coming. Counts that one with the headshot. So big pick, considering the weaponry, and Huynh is going to find one on Dapper. They're getting it done in an eco round here as Effie's find Shazam. Oh, look at that hit squad just rolling around the map. They don't care. They're just taking fights. Zombs has found one. Doesn't like that door being moved, so uh, removes that. I think Huynh got the gun. Yeah, I think he does. So mm -hmm. all good. Uh, awkward for the last two alive because that spikes all the way down at the back of B. And Zoms is like, okay, are these guys going to be in spawn? Are they on short? Where the hell have they gone? I don't like the way they've kind of like filtered apart now. I'd love them to stay together as a pack and just try and like cheese it, right? I mean, this is the most successful marshal I've seen in a long time. GMD gets the opening pick. Effie's picks it up, grabs the second one on Shazam. Mid pressure alleviated. B site is clear though. And now they're going to have to figure out how to retake. But this has not been a weakness at all for Genji. If anything, it's one of, been one of the best parts of their gameplay. Okay, where are they going to plant? Well, they've got time. They can clear side. They know they've got time on this. I want, like, a good post plant. Nice, safe plant. You know what I mean? Like, let's, let's, let's be smart about this now. Okay. Wall goes up. The utility. And, yeah, nice open plant phasing towards... Um, a lobby. Is there any utility left on the other side? Maybe the Omen or the Jet potentially? I'm kind of curious. Uh, Omen's got a little bit to play with. Yeah, okay, so it's not completely safe yet at all. So big pressure coming back in. If Wynn hits another banger, it's game on. Player one waiting for contact up top. Now it's his turn. And he is going to check the corner and find the kill. They are going to retake clean again. Gen G. It's just their third round. Remember, last time they were in this scenario, getting beat hard early, they were able to bring it all the way back to a 6-6 half. Here's a look at the early action. After getting stunned up, GMD makes his first bullet count. Straight out of instantly, Zom's trying to even out the action over at B, but the weapons were scooped up, and then the retake, well, after a little pressure at the top, player one seals the deal over at Wine. 3-6. Let's go check in the scoreboard. Let's see how these rounds have gone. It has been a pretty decent turnaround for Gen G. I, I've been liking these kind of like couple of rounds here and there. Um, they've broken the money, which is a pretty imperative factor, but let's see what the Sentinels still have to bring. Their attack is, is pretty robust. I think that's something fair to assume. Now, at this point, Quinn back on the op, though, looking to keep presence in middle. I guess that'll give them some sort of safety for Gen G. They were rotating pretty readily as soon as they got contact through middle or even a smoke made. So this could help out a little bit of those nerves with those over rotations. Chat finally caught up to our comment about Fortnite being better than CSGO. Yeah, guys, that. guys, settle down. I was just joking. Be nice. Here we go though. Quinn, sniper rifle in hand, ready for the attack. Sentinels, they love to stack up and press fast. Here comes the Omen Smokes. That's going to be spotted, called out. A little split as they're working their way into B. The wall up means that that operator is useless. Here comes the push from the Sentinels flying through the door. They're looking for the picks. Quinn is able to rotate just in time, but misses both shots. Oh, I know exactly dear. The spike hasn't crossed yet, though, so there's still a chance for Quinn to find something good here, but... Oh, dear. 
That's, that's a missed cage too. Yeah, I think they realized it's sick. Just about found out. The trade comes in for Shazam, but that spike, it's struggling to make it across. But both defensive players are tucked in towards, you know, the defensive side spawn. So a little bit trickier to play it back in now. We do have the showstopper available for GMD. Devastating on this site where you don't have much space between you and your opponent. And Dapper's camera is going to light up the Cypher on the opposing side. As Michael continues to survive, both players are weak. The two-on-two two showstopper is out. Rocket trying to just cause some chaos, and he is going to hit the left side. Not clean. Shazam survives. Michael is going to fall in a 1v2. He won't be able to get it done. Dapper getting the final pick of the round. As we see 7-3 on the scoreboard after our first 10 rounds, Sentinel's trying to finish this one strong. And I'd love to see the economy because I, I'm not sure if Gen G can buy it all here. I think they might have been ripped away from that round. So let's have a little yeah. check back in. Yeah, it's going to be one of those shoddy okay, buys. Vandal from Effie's. They made it work earlier when player one was the player purchasing it. We've seen the Marshall connecting for GMD just two rounds ago. And there is the second Vandal being bought up. So they're, they're playing the long game, but still dangerous on the defensive end. Bulldog, Spectre out for Sinatra and Zombs. Aside from Omen, surely this is just could be a kind of, I don't say basic, but just like an all in A piece. It looks like it's going to be now. Here comes Utility, oh, lovely work, blinding out towards Shaw, keeping smoke presence, keeping her on their toes. And this is a very well scripted piece from uh, the attacking side. And it looks pretty good so far, so good. Quinn though popping out the knives, surrounded, can't see a damn thing. Smoke everywhere, utility everywhere. And in all this mayhem, they're gonna get the spike down and they're pretty comfy with it too. And I really like that Zom's teleport as well. If there was anyone challenging from the top, he would have had him beat to that position. As everyone is on this A site, the round isn't over quite yet. Michael looking for a pick, will try and get his ult off as quick as he can. And now they've got a slot three. This is going to be tough. Yeah, good good luck here. Sage down to one shot. Dapper shutting the door. And it's 8-3, looking like a 9-3 half, unless something drastic changes for Gen G. I, I think we've just seen... I, I like what we've seen from the Sentinels. Let's take stock of what we have seen. Obviously, their B piece is pretty pretty well known to being very good at this point it's a really well constructed piece we just saw a really, really nice like a hit then as well with the omens utility being utilized on short kind of keeping players either smoked off or blinded but they also then get the mid presence they don't all have to be towards the a side they can still have a lurk in middle and then they had a very all-encompassing a hit is this gonna be the b piece again i'm not sure but early utility being used but it looks like the defenders well they're going aggressive this time pocket Effie's is going to be the lone man over at B, and that's exactly where the spike is going to be. They check the corner as Dapper flicks over, finds Effie's sight wide open. Going to take their time clearing. Wall goes up from CT. Spike going to be planted. And we're going to see what the plan is here for the retake. Just the Cypher ultimate available. Win is going to find Shazam in transition. So a nice pick will make it a four versus four. But this is going to be hard to break through. I know exactly where you are. That's not going to help, but they know where they all are now. All locked in on the site, so time for the brawl, right? Time's ticking. They've got to get a move on here. Everyone piled up together. I don't I don't know if this is going to work out, but they're going to give it the best attempt they can. Sinatra doing damage is going to clean up GMD. And here we go. Three kills coming in quickly from the defenders. Instant resurrect, and that's going to be punished. Player one and win are clean. It was tough, but they manage it. And a big round to keep them in this one at 8 4. They'll have defenders' advantage, but so far, Sentinels, one of their best maps coming in. We haven't seen it from Gen G at all, and it is showing. They were very rusty in the first half of that defense. You're spot on. Um, I am worried that we've become a little bit accustomed to the Sentinels potentially losing some very strong leads, but I'm hoping that they just kind of close this one out. Close out the games you're winning. Don't let it slip. Again, make sure you... I think it's on the Spike GG. It has um, the, one of the latest interviews with uh, Shazam. They're talking about them closing out games that they're leading and, and working on that manner. So I'm hoping 
This is one of those games where we see that sort of potential being won with, um, being run out. It was a really good performance from them. I think Sentinels, again, their attacking side is it's easy to be impressed by. Um, they've got some beautiful execution on sites, but the defensive side is no slouch either. Sinatra, of course, becoming synonymous with that spam through the wall over by B. All right, we've got your Sentinels now on the defense. It's going to be Michael and Gen G trying to work their way in for an opening pick. Pistol rounds, crucial in every matchup. I was just looking at how the defense is set up. Again, we're going to see a flank out of Dapper. He was doing it all game long. Will he be able to get there in time? He's checking every corner on his way through mid. Meanwhile, here comes the push. We mentioned there's no flash, so he just got to burst out, and Huynh is going to do it perfectly with the first two. Effie straightens out the third. And now we're going to see Spike planted safely. Raid's working as Zombs is going to get dropped. It's going to be all up to Dapper on that flank. He was just a little bit too late. Yeah, Dapper, any damage is good. Full 1v3 would be better, but you, you don't allow this to happen. Is what I'm saying. You shouldn't allow this to happen, no matter how good they play. Trying to isolate players here. That's the name of the game for Dapper. Try and find individuals. Is the crossfire good? It's good enough. Effies is there, and the turn could have come through from the cipher if required, but there's the first step on the ladder, right? I mean, this is the, the first step back. Five on the board. Let's say you get the next two, which maybe if the economy kind of goes the way it might, maybe even one more, you're, you're pretty close again. So we'll see what the economy looks like at the end of the next two rounds. Um, but it's a dangerous start. It, it's the, you know, the small window opens and the opportunities outside. So you're like, you got to be a bit careful with this. But again, Sentinels are very well versed on this map. So I feel if there's a chance for them to close out well, it should be on this one. They're going to come flying through the middle of this round, it looks like. Everyone stacked up at A short and double at the mid. That's Sinatra and Shazam. The duo love peeking together. Player one with a little smoke spam. As Gen G is aware, they gotta watch mid. Can't allow any flanks. And now the Spectres at range showcasing their strength. Three down already. Shazam's able to blow one up on player one, but that is gonna be a quick round for the attackers. Six, eight. Game's getting tight. Yep, no worries. This is this is the one. This is the first attempt back for it to be a closer yep. for Sentinels. They get a couple of these, obviously, as they have the lead. Um, so the money right now will favor them to have the better purchase than the opponent. So you've got to feel like if they're going to get to nine, perfect opportunity to do so, and you want it to be a clean one. So let's see what they do with it. Let's see. It looks like the attacking team is going to just, you know, keep it simple, stupid is, is the kind of name of the game sometimes. Just kind of play it out. You know, all of five together. I'm looking at maybe the cipher being a little around middle though for the attackers at least. Not by much. So it looks like an all-in A piece because you can't play this late, bear in mind, because you haven't kept map control. I'm so curious of what Huynh can do with this judge. Are you just waiting for a gun to pick up? Or will he be able to burst in and do damage? It's just gonna be the omen on site, and he is gonna find him, calls it out, and does a lot of damage. Down to 48 health, but Zombs holds true, picks up the first two. Spike will be planted any moment here by Effies. And as I say that, he decides to hop off the plant and try and deal with Sinatra, who's up top. Meanwhile, GMD finds Shazam lurking. And that's pretty what they're waiting for. Maybe to try and remove the ability to take that plan away from that position. Um, really nice hold to see if anyone got overly aggressive. And this is already bad news for the Sentinels. You didn't want to be in this scenario. You wanted to be on the other side of this. Um, so this playback in is going to be costly for one and unlikely in the other. Even though you have better weaponry, you've got to go soon. Here comes the peak. Sick is going to get gunned down as well as Dapper. GMD already with three. Give him a fourth and he's going to get it through the wall with the help of oh, player no. one. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so let's talk about what this means. Sentinels fans, we're, we're, we're scared, we're nervous. <laughs> a little nervous. We're unsure. Um, and I, I want to give credit to Gen G. They had very light weaponry, and they found a nice place to utilize it. They kind of brought it to a, just a, quite a clean, close hit. And the play with the judge, honestly, if you can't afford the operator, Picking up a judge with a jet isn't a bad idea. I think Tens was doing a fair bit. A couple of other jets have certainly made it uh, look pretty good. You can just close gaps. I mean, I don't know how they didn't kill Zombs with that thing. It looked like they were going to, but it's broken the back of the economy. 
So which is the big scary factor? Now, lovely work from GMD to instantly work out these players are pushed up close. Nice. And there's a pickup towards some. So good work so far. But again, if you're Gen G, this is not your most favorable map. You do have the economic upper hand here. So they've got to play it carefully. They don't want to let anything slip. You still got to be smart about this. Shazam is going to see that in mid. Has two flashes to work with, but just the pistol. And his timing just barely missing the jet underneath. Survives the first fight. Taking down GMD. Great flash, but it's going to be the judge in the hands of Huen. Gets out of that fight instantly. Ooh, they're playing these rotations. Risky because you can get caught on the way, as Sinatra's just shown. But they're going to head towards B, and I hope they try and keep some map i guess territory map control because if they just sit tight on those sites those pistols can do work the spike hasn't crossed yet oh dear this has oh, gone no. from bad to worse sinatra and oh, Sid yes in a huge combination leaving it pretty much all in this man's hands in a 1v4 what a wire. blunder from gen g here yeah you shouldn't be losing to just ghost at this point and uh this is gonna be a round that they're gonna be thinking about for a while they had total control after a comeback in the big gun round. You set yourself up to get a three. Round number eight doesn't happen. Nine, seven, Sentinels back in control with the monies. We'll see what the game plan is here for the attackers. Quinn back on the operator. They are down to zero credits on Michael Quinn, which is 700, 400 left for player one. This is a must win round. Okay, big double digits time potentially for the Sentinels as well. Huge round for them. Economy gives them a little buffer, but it ain't much and you want this one. This is a this is a big telling sign and this looks somewhat similar to the last round. Um, nothing too wild. Gonna be that little bit of presence from Dapper just wasting a bit of the utility from GMD, which is nice. It eliminates it from the site. So it feels good to see that. And it's probably given a bit of life for the Sentinels. You know, you start feeling a little bit, you know, I'm displeased with what was happening. This will put you right back on par that last round. So hopefully they can keep it together in this one. All right. Once again, they have no flashes with this composition, just the two smokes from the Omen, and of course the Jet who needs that line of sight. See what they can do on the A attack. Quinn has been so good at just bursting through the doors, doing damage, if not picking up the kills. And it looks like he will be the first to peek. Meanwhile, Dapper on the other side. Top fragger so far for the Sentinels. Eliminated instantly by the Operator. Yeah, what's their deal with Short? How do they want to get past that? Because I'm not sure the utility usage here is. So, at the moment, Spike's on the site. They haven't planted yet. They're trying to ensure they clear properly. And, oh my god, GMD, you're so smart. Up on the wall, Peak said Zoms has no idea that he could have done that and just outdoes him. GMD doing really well on these A hits so far, and I think these three from the Sentinels might have to just go into a save. Yeah, great success coming in from that pick. Off the back of what Huyn did, beautifully, beautifully set up. Keep all the money and survive. Now, last time we saw, uh, I believe it was Sentinels, hunting players down and getting punished for it. They lost three trying to pick up the last two players. I like to see Gen G just taking their time, knowing the importance of the round working together to make sure there's always a position to trade as i say that it looks like everyone is just gonna be held up on b no one will be going down before this spike detonates my my what a close game we're gonna have i feel like this is really heating up here because as i said the sentinels won that crazy eco and they literally it was like a full-on eco maybe one sheriff i think i think that was it like it was super super like you know hold and that's that and they did it so well now on this round I'd... Are they going to just rinse and repeat this? I feel like Genji aren't switching things up massively, and you can see a bit of a switch up here. Breach has come over, um, and you still have Omen here, but that's a little bit of a different adjustment. So it looks like the Sentinels might be having a bit of a feel for, okay, we need to deal with this A hit because it's becoming a constant problem. So maybe a new look for this defensive side with Sova and Breach being present on it. Shazam has been very good with his Breach utility, especially his ultimates. Working with Sinatra at the top. That's going to be Zom's playing tight. B wide open is going to be just the Cypher Dapper hanging out. Well, Sage is going to try and move up with a sick is looking for a pick potentially. You're making sure no one flanks his teammates who are hiding up top. And again, it's going to be Gen G just stacking up, playing it slow. They should, wait, looking look for at, some look early aggression. Look at the Cypher middle. They should hold until he gets as far as he can. 
Oh dear. This is a big individual play coming out from uh, the Cypher here. And that's going to cause so many problems for these players on A because they now need to be careful of their backs. No one's watching it. He can get right behind them. They've got to know this, but they're, they're trying to commit towards this angle. This is such a big presence. Oh dearie me. Like an assassin in the night, this guy is just walking around and destroying everyone. Good work from Shazam to finally stop it. By this point, though, the attack inside is everything they need for this to succeed. And with that now happening towards Sinatra, they can isolate the players wherever they want to go. Get out of my way! Shazam trying to hold strong with the Operator. Huynh coming flying at him with the ultimate. And Shazam will connect. That was a headshot taking him down. Spike still not planted. 22 seconds left on the clock. So they got to act fast if you're Gen G. Sentinels now have the ultimate from Shazam. But will Dapper be able to follow up? There is ice slowing him down. Now it comes in. And a perfect one. Doesn't touch his teammate. Nice stun. Dapper with the first. Finds Evans on an instant drop. And now they got the info of the last player. Shazam and Dapper just pulled it off. Brilliant retake. My word. That was so well put together by those two. And Dapper on that shot as he dropped down. Just banging the shot towards Dark. Stunning. Absolutely stunning, but you saw that danger coming through as soon as that Cypher got some presence in middle. I wonder what they're going to take away with that information now. Okay, well, they're not going to be playing mid here. They're so worried about our A hit. They, they're going to realize this has been an adjustment. So what do they do back on the attack here? Gen G now, maybe in their heads, or do they go, well, they're going to change up now because they think we've seen middle. It's that mind game now going to happen between these two. So I wonder what the play is. This is where you're going to see the teams really having to make those choices. Eight to ten, though, Sentinels on the cusp of doing brilliant things here double digits is huge as a milestone for them shazam was so crucial that last round he was sitting on five out of seven orbs needed for his ultimate two last picks give him the rolling thunder and then of course connecting on two players setting up his teammate now though we'll see what they can do with just the resurrect and the omen alt on the other side attackers really just trying to play after getting a pick as we'll see Michael looking for some early action. The Odin from Sinatra is going to force him back. And I don't know if this is a comfort pick from Sinatra, if it was a set play on the defensive push. He wanted to get aggro, but no one there. Now, this is one of the elements of this uh, Sentinels team that makes him pretty good, is how he likes to play this. He gets information, the wall bangs just to his right. <clears throat> I don't normally love these sort of looks, but he plays it off very well. And it looks like we're going to see the test of time. Did Genji know this? Surely you know if it's Sinatra, you've watched a game or two of theirs, you definitely know what could be coming. And now he's going to see a great deal of the information. Does he spam? Yes, he does. But does he get as much uh, damage as he might do normally? No, but all. that's the bigger threat here. Here we go, Pocket. This could be a little bit of a problem, and so much time is being bought here. Nice dancing coming out of Michael. Survives. Gets a quick heal. And here they come, the flood from Gen G, but Sick is able to get the first pick. Will they connect? No, Sick, Dapper, Shazam, Sinatra, all holding strong. The Oda making so much noise, but the damage is done from CT. I love watching that. Sinatra is, is, is a master of buying time and being a nuisance. Not only does all his utility tie, you know, tie these attacking teams up, it costs them so much presence towards the site. And then by the time they actually you know, sit in and, and you know, hold, he just sits there and waits because he knows the rest of his teammates have made it towards CT. He can be a nuisance at the end of the, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel is just him and that Odin. So beautifully controlled by him to set up the others to succeed. And now it looks like they've gone back to what was making it work for them before, which is this kind of maybe more dedicated presence towards A from the attacking team. They've been very successful with this slow followed up by the grenade previously when peeking at the A site, down weapons. Quinn also, of course, going back to that judge on the jet. Maybe looking to fly in. Smoke out. He's going to read the corner. And Zom's never even got a chance to pull the trigger. Instant punish. And now he's got a better upgraded weapon. We'll see what Quinn can do here. Do you fully commit on A? You've seen the rotations coming through time and time again. Oh, a little extra love from Quinn there for Zom's. And this again, Dapper's turn at it. We saw Shazam doing wonders from up here. Oh, this is a stack towards eight. Nice, nice utility. Going to force that op to be a little uncomfortable that they still haven't cleared this site yet. Jet again, just getting absolutely plucked from the sky. Zero success and zero answers yet. GMD the only one to respond. But so far, a really nice hold from the defensive team. Michael going to pop that Cypher ultimate. Gives him the information, but he's not ready for the Odin. 
Sinatra with a little spam. Another reason to pick up the LMG. We can see it, but he can't. Has no idea where they're located on this site. So gonna have to wait for Dapper to get in position. Swapped out that operator for the, it looks like the Phantom. And he's gonna find his third. So now last man standing. Poor player one in a corner. He's been hit up and there is the Odin through the wall. Another retake on the A site is clean after losing their first man. Odin go burr. Uh, yeah, 12 to 8. This is this is a good close from the Sentinels, assuming they make it count. I shouldn't say it too early, but it looks like it's all going the right way. They've got control of the economy. They found the answer to this hit that was coming in a fair few times. Quinn trying that a couple of times in a row now. Different side, but different AWPer, so it doesn't really matter. Both of them landing the same sort of shot. Um, and Sinatra's retake potential. Oof. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, playing very well. Again, I... I I hate it because, you know, every every person who has no idea what to do with that gun will pick it up and be like, it's a great gun. I mean, it is and it isn't. In Sinatra's hands, it looks really good, but the Sentinels give themselves a little bit of uh, life in them, yet this could be map three now looming if this round goes their way, of course. Or maybe there's a comeback from Gen G, but I feel as though they've hit a bit of a brick wall here. Sinatra and Sick again. Wanted to get aggressive, won't go for the early pick. Instead, they're gonna let the Cypher ease his way onto the orb. Sinatra may try and punish with the Odin as his cages go up. Meanwhile, attackers rotating through the middle and Shazam is gonna read it. On the rotation, will he go for a peek? A different look from the attackers. You can see that mid presence. They're being very wary of short. No one's really there right now. A lot of these players are playing a little bit deeper on the site. And again, there Sinatra, that was through the wall, I'm pretty sure, yep. as well. So, again, just his presence alone is such a pain in the ass to get past. And you can see the attacking side is just like, well, what do we do? We've got this kind of 2-2 split now, maybe a bit of a B pinch coming in. But even then, you've still got the Cypher at the back by spawn. You can hold a very passive angle. And oh, here we go again. The damage is just outstanding this guy can do with this thing. Effies is going to bring him back so he knows at least where two of the players are. Normally when Gen G commits, you will find multiple as Sinatra ready to lay down the rain of bullets. Teammates doing the damage from CT last time. It's GMD trying to break in here. 12 seconds left, so this spike has to be planted or you have to get all the kills and this game is over. Okay, that's a good step, but it's not cleared out yet. Shazam still buying time. Three seconds. The spike, it's loose. They can't do Can't it. Be planted. It's done. We're going to a game three, Pansy. Sentinels holding strong 13 to 8 after losing 13 to 9. Way to bounce back. Incredible sniping over at the A site. The LMG. Once that Odin got picked up, it looked like yep. it just caused chaos for Gen G. Getting yeah, hit through I, walls, the bullet penetration, just too much for him. You're spot on. I, I think the big highlight for me is the fact that the Sentinels had a...